Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a girl Z. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome back. You know, I love you guys for your support. Thank you for you liking, for commenting. So today I'm going to do a very, very different video. I'm going to take you through my weight loss journey. Yes, and uh, this video... As I'm recording it, it's on 7th October. Now, let me show you. 7th, 7th October. Yeah, uh, I don't know if, yes. 7th October 2022. And I'll be uploading the video and sharing you every details on December. I don't know the exact date, but it will be in December. Uh, before Christmas because I want this journey to be like a pre Christmas present for myself. So before we start, let me give you a disclaimer. I'm not a professional dietitian. I'm not a professional trainer. I'm just a normal mom trying to figure out uh, ways of living healthy and uh, keeping off those uh, uh, extra weights. Okay. So guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. As I said, it's a girl Z. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe in the button below, red button below, so that I, you can be informed more. You see uh, how my weight loss journey is and maybe it will inspire you. If you, maybe you have the same challenges as I did, the same weight, the same height, and uh, we can, you can try and see if uh, it will make a change in your life. Okay, thank you. So let me start by telling you that um, 78 kgs as of not up to now. I started uh, my weight loss journey two weeks ago and it has been well, but I didn't incorporate any diet. I, di I was just eating normal, but I, I, I was doing a workouts, different kind of workouts. I didn't have a specific workout, home workouts. I don't go to the gym. Yes. And uh, I lost a few few kgs. I will share with you. But I started my weight loss journey at 78 kgs. Oh my God, that is my heaviest. Even when I was pregnant, I, I, I never reached there. The heaviest I was, was 75. According to my BMI, I am obese. Oh my God. So guys, the reason why I started the weight loss journey is because... I feel like I'm lost of energy. I feel like uh, uh, my self-esteem is down. Each and every time I meet with my friends, my family, they comment about my weight, how I have added the weight. It feels so bad. It drives my self-esteem down to the ground, down to the mud. And uh, I, feel, I feel so bad. Looking myself in the mirror, I don't appreciate what I'm seeing. I, I have started wearing baggy clothes, as you can see, so that I can hide what um, my, my body looks like, how, I've, how, much gain I've, I've, uh, how much weight I've gained. Also, I don't go out often. I don't go meet friends or family because I, I hate it when people are commenting about how I look. It makes me feel so bad. So I decided that instead of me crying myself to sleep, uh, feeling pity for myself, hating my body. This is my body. I used to love it. I used to cherish it. This is my body and I, I have to do something about it. So instead of being uh, lazy, being uh, stressing myself, crying myself to sleep because of my weight, I need to do something about it. Before I was doing it, but it didn't work. The fad diets, I used to work out, but every time I stop, the weight will come back. Every time I stop the dieting, you know, some diets, they are not lifestyle change. They are not lifestyle changes. It's only for a uh, matter of time. I've done egg diets. I've done uh, 10, detox, 10 day detox. I have done all sorts of crazy fad diets. My, I will reduce weight. But unfortunately, it will come back with its cousins. If you want, if you know what I mean, like it will come back uh, more than what I weighed, and that's how I've reached at my heaviest. And according to my BMI, I'm obese. 
I think beginning or base beginner yeah I am five two feet and this is this weight is too much for me and I needed to do something about it so unlike before I needed to change things you know when you repeat something with the, with the same same repetition without changing it you don't expect different results the, the results will be the same so i decided to do more research about what makes my weight come back what should i do what should i eat what should it be? i needed something that will, i will make it like a lifestyle to adapt to it something that it will be easy for me so that i don't go back i don't backslide oh my god thank goodness thank god i met this wonderful two wonderful doctors dr stan ekberg and dr bag these two doctors they're wonderful doctors and guess where i met them here on our facebook uh, on our sorry on our youtube so youtube it has been very helpful and these doctors are, are very helpful i wish you go you will go uh, find research uh, go look for them you'll see how you, they have very good inform, information about food health about our body how our body reacts what to eat what not to eat they talk about keto diet and they also talk about intermittent fasting so uh i knew about keto before but uh i saw it like it's impossible like no 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 it's impossible i can't do keto diet because you know as an african kenyan we are surrounded with carbs how can i do without carbs you know that 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 stupid mentality that i had yes so i didn't know i didn't bother i've never tried it so i didn't bother i saw that it was impossible for me to do without carbs and then they talk also about intermittent fasting intermittent fasting i've tried I've tried uh, 18 6 16 8 I've tried 24 I've tried Omad I've tried 72 hours I've tried 36 hours yes I lose weight but as I said before it comes back because I never did enough research to know that intermittent fasting it's not about it's not a diet it's supposed to be a lifetime thing you know when you start something it's supposed to be something you, you will adapt to you will adapt it uh, forever you know so that uh, you can be healthy and you can uh, you know uh, maintain your weight so i looked at uh, the videos of uh, dr stan and uh, i love dr stan uh, videos because his voice is so soothing like when he ex explains things I tend to understand more than Dr. Bag, but even Dr. Bag has excellent, excellent information. So you check them out. So I learned a few things about keto and I decided that, oh, so the keto is this and this. I learned about insulin. We will talk about them in my next video because I don't want to make this video long. This is just the introduction of what I um, why i decided to go on a waist closed journey so guys what i'm trying to say is that today being on the 7th of october it's my fifth day doing keto and i'm telling you it's not as hard as i thought but in the first three days it was very challenging because i had no uh, i had no energy i had no sleep i i, I didn't sleep for two days but again i, I found some hacks uh to help me sleep so as i'm sharing today um i have lost a few kilos i've lost a few inches and i feel good about myself and i'm praying to god that i will continue with this for the next two three months okay so i want this to be just an introduction if you want to, uh, to know more i will uh, share part two part three i don't know how many parts but this is just um it's a process it's a process of how i'm doing things and i want to share with you so that whoever is in it's in uh, is in the same position as i am she or he can be able to 
to relate okay guys so let i hope to see you on the next video bye bye